Today I thought I would take you backstage of my videos and show you my filming setup. So what gear do I use, what camera, lights, microphone, everything. How do I set everything up, what does my room look like when I'm filming and just how I do everything in general. I always think it's very interesting to see how other YouTubers go about this, how they set everything up and make sure their videos look good. Maybe some of you will find it helpful or at least interesting as well. Let's get started. I have set up everything the way I normally do when I film a video right now, so you probably recognize this background if you watch my videos. So in order to be able to show you everything, I'm going to use my vlogging camera. This is the camera I use for my vlogs over on my vlog channel Loopsy's Life. It is the Panasonic Lumix, um, let's see, Panasonic Lumix. DMC TZ55. This is not the best learning camera out there, but it has flip screen and it's affordable, which were my two biggest concerns when I was buying this. So yeah, if you have a little bit more of a budget to spend, I definitely recommend going for a little bit of a better quality camera, but it serves my purpose. I do keep it on a selfie stick, by the way, because it's easier to balance that way. It doesn't shake as quickly and it's also just easier to hold up because I don't have to hold my arm way up there. I'm going to switch to my vlogging camera now to show you what everything looks like when I look around me now. Okay, so this is what I am looking at when I'm filming. You can see my camera is way back over there. That is because of the lens that I'm using. I will show you that in a minute. But first of all, I have a window over there and I have a lamp over there and that is to balance my lighting because I'm lit from this side by the window and I want to kind of compensate for that by putting a lamp up there so that I'm kind of lit evenly from all sides. So I use an umbrella light and I have a daylight light bulb in there that gives off the same type of lighting, same color of light as the sun does, which is nice because it looks really natural in um, on camera. I do have two of those that I use if I'm sitting in another setting, but this is what I usually do, so I usually just use one. So let's take a look at my camera right there. So this is the camera that I'm currently using. It is the Canon EOS 700D, also known as the T5i in some other parts of the world. I really, really like this camera for the purposes that I use it for because, again, it has a flip screen and flip screens are really necessary when you are filming yourself. You just, you've got to have flip screen. And other than that, it's just a very basic, good DSLR camera. Again, one of the more affordable ones, but this one is really awesome quality, so definitely recommend that. For my microphone, I use this one, the Rode, Rode, I have no idea how to pronounce this. You connect it to the camera, it, great sound quality, love this thing. Can definitely recommend that as well. So for the lens, I am currently using the 50mm 1.8. Um, this is a really nice lens for photography. I use this for photos on my blog all the time. This lens gives a really nice depth of field, which pretty much means that when I'm sitting back here, you can see me um, sharply and my background is blurry. That's what it does. So that's something that's really nice about this lens. The downside is you cannot zoom with this lens. I have to sit very far away from it to be able to, you know, get a good portion of myself into the frame. Whenever I'm filming hair tutorials or beauty tutorials, videos where I'm not sitting here in general, I use the kit lens that came with my camera. This is a 18 to 55 millimeter one and this is a zoom lens as you can see, so I am able to zoom in with this one to take close-ups or zoom out and take um, shots from farther away but it doesn't give as nice of a depth of field and I don't know, I feel like the depth of field really gives that luxurious kind of high quality feeling to a video so I prefer to use that one whenever I can but this is a nice backup lens to have, it's very versatile. I think that's everything I have to say in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will see what I can do for you. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I um, want thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!